Look, we don't want to adopt some gross little monster like you. We're here for the perfect child, for a nice child, for a good kid. And you know what? You're neither. In fact, you're lower than a rat. Now go away! I don't get it. I'm just like the rest of the kids here. Can't you see that you're different? Look at you, look at me. Do you not see a difference? I don't see it. What don't you get? Are you dumb? What do you mean? Your nose is different than mine. Your hair is different than mine. You just tell me, why won't you adopt I'm me? I'm not gonna say it. Why won't you adopt me? Because you're black. Hello, how can I help you? Hi, we're Jim and Pam Miller here about adopting a child. Oh yes, come on in, please sit down. <laughs> Where can you see? We're so excited to be here. Right, Jim? Yes. Yes, we've been waiting a long time for this day. Today is the day we get to adopt the perfect child. <laughs> <laughs> perfect child for us, that is, because all children are perfect, right? I'm very happy to hear that. We have lots of little ones who need loving homes. Can you tell me more about your interest? Yeah, we're, we're looking for someone very talented, uh, well-spoken, mm -hmm. uh, someone overall that's just a happy child. Yes, we feel like a positive, well-behaved kid would be the right fit for us. A um, little white angel, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> well, all of our children are beautiful angels, and they all need loving homes. Now, that being said, I did look at your application, and I think I have the perfect child for you. His name is Damien, and he's a sweetie, smartest child you'll ever meet. Sounds wonderful. Sounds wonderful. I'd love to meet this little man. Now, they just had lunch and they're outside playing. Why don't we go ahead and go meet him? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it so wonderful to watch the children play? Oh yeah, wonderful. Hmm. Why aren't there more white ones? Oh. Dang, white ones have good homes already. <laughs> I don't see Damien anywhere. He must be playing on the other side. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, I'm so sorry. I need to take this phone call. Why don't you walk around and see if you can connect with the children? And um, when I come back, I'll help you find Damien. Okay, thank, thank you. you. all so dirty. It smells like a farm out here. Can you imagine what they do to our house? <laughs> oh, look, 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 look at that one with the ears. <laughs> she's going to hear you and she's going to kick us out. Damien, can you show me how to ride a bike again? Sure, just put both feet on the pedals and keep pedaling and don't stop otherwise you're going to fall. You got this. Okay. Hold on, Lucy. You see those people over there? Yes. They look like they're here to adopt kids. Hold on, I'll be right back. This place is just like the last orphanage we were at. Oh God, that little creep keeps staring at me. Oh, here he comes. Hopefully he doesn't think we're gonna adopt him. <sighs> Hi, I'm Damien. Look, we're not here for you, little boy. So just go away, shoot. What are you here for? We're here to adopt a beautiful child. We, we don't want you. Why not? <laughs> it's pretty obvious. What do you mean? That you're not like us. You know, we want a kid that looks like it actually belongs in our family. Does that make sense? Well, I know all the kids here, so maybe I could help. We don't want your help. I'm really good at remembering names. I know everyone's name. That's Hector, that's Bethany, and that's Ashley. She's really Drunk. Good. Gross! Just go away! Don't touch me! Back off! I said we don't want your help. Yeah, get back. You're gonna give us fleas or something, you little thug! I'm not a thug. I'm a good kid. I get all A's on my report card and my teachers love me. I'm a good kid, trust me. Look, we don't want to adopt some gross little monster like you. We're here for the perfect child, for a nice child, for a good kid. And you know what? You're neither. In fact, you're lower than a rat. Now go away! I don't get it. I'm just like the rest of the kids here. Can't you see that you're different? Look at you, look at me. Do you not see a difference? 
I don't see it. What don't you get? Are you dumb? What do you mean? Your nose is different than mine. Your hair is different than mine. You just tell me, why won't you adopt I'm me? I'm not gonna say it. Why won't you adopt me? Because you're black. <laughs> oh, now he's crying like a little baby. <laughs> <laughs> no one's going to adopt a baby like you. <laughs> Come on, Pam. Let's go find our white angel. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. What's going on, little man? Why are you crying? Because I don't have a mommy or a daddy. No one will ever want to adopt me. Why do you say that? Because I'm not special enough. I think you're special. You do? Yeah. What's your name? Damien. Damien. My name's Will Damien. Nice to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you. You wanna know a little secret? Sure. When I was about your age, I was an orphan here too in this orphanage. You were? I was. But one day, a really nice couple came. They must have thought I was special because they adopted me and they took me home. They gave me a great life, Damien. So I thought, when I grow up and I'm ready to be a dad, maybe I can come here and find a special kid that will let me be his dad. You're here to adopt someone? Right. And I've been talking to Miss Elena and all the other nice people that work here and all your little friends. They tell me they think you are a very special kid. They do? They all do. For real? <laughs> yeah. So I thought maybe if it's okay with you, maybe Maybe I can be your dad. That will be a dream come true. <laughs> well, what do you say we go and talk to Miss Elena about that and maybe she can help us arrange it? Sounds great. Let's go. Awesome. So what's your favorite sport? Football. Mine too. Whoa, what's wrong? I don't like that mean man and lady over there. Why not? Because they said I was gross and that they would never adopt me. They did? Yeah. And they said that I was nothing but a worthless rat because I'm black. <sighs> because you're black. Yeah. Listen to me, Damien. There's nothing wrong with you, okay? You're a great kid. You're a very special kid. In fact, you're so special that the minute I walked in that door, I saw you and I thought, that's the kid that I want to be my son. I could be a good dad too. Thanks, Will. I guess you like that idea, huh? Yeah. Okay, listen to me. Doing that takes some work, okay? And we'll get to that. We'll talk to Miss Selena about all that. But first, let's go deal with these two. Okay? okay. Excuse me. Hi there. Um, I'm Will. Damien here tells me that uh, you told him some very mean things just a little bit ago. I think he deserves an apology. Well, why would we do that? Because he is a child that deserves respect, just like every other child in this place. And because the things that he told me, you said to him, were extremely nasty and mean. And I think he deserves an apology. Back up, bucko. Back up. We don't care about you. We don't care about this dumb kid. Why did you just call him? Look, these people are all the same. Let's just go home and I'm sure they will be very happy together. I'm sure that we'll be very happy together too. And you have no right to be in a place like this. You have no right to be trying to adopt a child. What's wrong with you people? I'll tell you what's wrong is this entire orphanage is a joke. These disgusting, abominable children, they don't deserve homes like ours. What's going on here? Elena, thank goodness you're here. This guy is going around harassing all the children and now he's yelling at Jim and I. Is that right? Yes. Yes. Elena, you need to get rid of these awful people. That's exactly what I came to do. Oh, 
I just got a call from a friend of mine who works at another adoption agency across town and she warned me about a married couple who were calling children names and making them cry. We would never do never. such a thing. Just ask Damien, we were talking about adopting him earlier. What you were talking about was insulting him. No, we no, did enough, we did enough. enough. So I was curious about that couple that were hurting children and I went up to the office to look at the security footage to see you talking to our children. <laughs> security footage? Yeah, cameras, buddy. Do you think we allow strangers to come in and to talk to our children without them being monitored? Helena, you gotta understand, we were just trying to find a good kid. I'm going to file a report on both of you to make sure you never get to adopt a child. You'll be permanently banned from the adoption system in the entire country. You sicken me. I've already called the police to file charges for trespassing and harassment. Oh, this is ridiculous. Come on, Jim, oh, let's go. We... <sighs> yeah, goodbye, Bucko. Goodbye. Listen, Damien, if, if I'm given the chance to be your dad and adopt you, I promise that I will do my best to keep you away from horrible people like that. I promise. Okay. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe to this channel to see more videos like this. And remember, here at Generation Hope, we're trying to make the world a better place one story at a time.